let's go check the Big Joe herd. I got Marissa, one of her best friends, Sam with us, and baby girl Brooks. So they're gonna stay in the truck. We're gonna leave that air conditioner going because it's hot. And Brooks, uh, Brooks gets hot pretty easy. So we're gonna go check the Big Joe herd, and make sure they're doing good. Seeing who Big Joe's following now. doing good. He's thinking. Check this lad out. Oh, it's Mr. Dunbar. Yep, cooling off. Just like the yearlings, been getting in the tub. They do drink out of it, but they also have the tire too, the automatic water system. But the big guy here, he loves getting in these tubs and cooling off. He hadn't changed much. This guy. I didn't mention it, but I know I just passed 100,000 subscribers. I need to give a lot of credit to this guy right here. Dunbar, as you know, is one of the popular bison of my channel. You got Eleanor, Dunbar, and Big Joe. I need to get a lot of credit to him, but he's done a lot of silly stuff for me, and uh, he's just full of character. Dunbar, if you guys have followed me along, I've got some good footage of Dunbar when he was just a, just a yearling he's dunbar hasn't changed his character has always been the same and he's just this silly old bull in case you guys are wondering he's four years old now he's still young these guys don't hit full maturity until about they're six years old big joe just turned seven so like i said big joe's in his prime and i know you guys have been thinking he's lonely he's lonely well no he's not he's got plenty to hang out with i promise we're in here right now because they're they come in because they think I'm going to feed them. But they've been out here grazing and doing their thing. But Dunbar here, he still has a ways to go. I want you guys to know he is not alone. Oh, there's our feisty kit right there. See, here's one of the reasons I want you guys to understand kind of what we're doing. We didn't want to divide up the, 
the cows plus one reason as it was going to be really difficult for us to do so we just completely swapped the bulls we're trying to get that usage out of big joe kind of why he's in his prime and we do like how big he is right now we don't know how big dunbar will be like i said he's only four years old so he still has a ways to go he does have great genetics though because he comes from canadian river bison which is doc gerald parsons from stratford oklahoma i got my first five animals from him and he raises top-notch animals and so that's what we've got here out of dunbar so guys i want you to understand dunbar's not going anywhere he's my guy he's 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 kind of my big baby i'm gonna lean on him for a lot I'm just switching things up. Big Joe has been with these two females for a long time, Kit and Flo, but we wanted to change it up and see if we could get Big Joe to bring some of those other females and, and just try from there. This is a lot of raising bison right here. And some of you may not know this, but there is some sort of, I don't know if you wanna call it selective breeding, but you, you can switch up your bulls. And see, here's the thing, we've only got seven females in the big joe herd we've only got two right here in the dunbar herd if i had 30 or 40 females yes we could put dunbar and big joe in the same pen uh, or in the same pasture we could put them together i don't want to do that right now because they're, they're going to compete for nine females and that's not enough females for these males these two dominant males to compete against each other for us that's why we don't do that that's why we don't put those bulls together they would fight a lot which is natural but they would possibly tear down our fences and all that but if i had a bunch of females which my plan is someday to do have and uh, we'll be able to do that we'll have to have two bulls in there and the dominant bull who wins the battle between the two will be breeding most of the females and then the bull that's been defeated the less dominant of the two will get the rest of the females and so the, the main part is is that you want all those females bred so you can have as many babies as possible anyways just want you guys to know he is not alone dunbar is good he's probably a little mad at me because he's not out with his females he's been with for a long time but this is just part of it and it's just something that we're trying and see how it works we do need to get some more breeding females i'm kind of looking around i need some two-year-old heifers is what i need um, so that i can actually put dunbar i'm pretty selective on where i get my animals from so i just don't just get random bison i, I try to i try to be selective i want to know the background and where they're from and whatnot but i am i'm always looking for some two-year-old females because right now it's breeding season and dunbar could could breed some of them He's laying down right now, and the flies are bad right now. They love the bulls. So I've got my mixture here. See if I can spread on him. He's going to get up. He's not going to like it at all. So I'm going to put the camera up here close, so um, <laughs> see what he does. All right, big dude. Right there on his back. Well, that's just this. Right there on his back. Well, that's just this. <laughs> that was a fail. Squirt gun did not have enough pressure. That was rank a dink. There it goes. Now he's mad at me. You guys want to know about the fish experiment? Just came down here to look and got a couple of floaters. But I probably know the reason why is it's getting definitely hot here. What I'm amazed about is how big these suckers have gotten. I mean, they were no bigger than my wedding band. <laughs> When we first got them so they've definitely gotten big but i did see some actual ones in here swimming a while ago so good and bad sign at the same time <laughs> but uh we'll take it i guess that's why it's called an experiment 
That's who it is. Looky here. We haven't seen her in a while, but. Look who we got. It's Eleanor. She's doing good. She's looking good. Hey, Eleanor.